G'day adventurers, Darren from Adventure Primal. Not only am I an ordinary fisherman, but I also like to keep Australian native bees. These fellas here are Tetragonula cabanara, and in this video I'm going to show you how I split them. So let's get to it. tools that I use when I'm spinning a hive are cordless drills, a couple of different lengths of uh, screws, a hive tool, two thicknesses of masking tape and you'll see why later, a knife which we may not or may not need but we'll keep it here, face mask, you'll see why we need that fella and a mounting device which you'll, you know as we go along you'll see all these in use and what's going on so Let's get to the splitting. All right, so step one is preparing the new hive. So I've made this previously, uh, painted it up, got it all ready. So what we need to do now is get one of the, the, the larger sized masking tapes and start sealing up these joins. This will give help to the bees uh, the new population of these to stop invading pests getting into these uh, these joins before they have a chance to seal them up so a bit of tape on that one on this join in another video I hope to do is show you how to make one of these hives uh, Today is just about splitting. So that's the top of the new one. I'll have to take this over here, get it ready for the old hive. Back here, I now get the thinner of the two masking tapes, put it across the top of the base box. This helps the new hive when it sits on top, not to fall into the hollow base. So it's just a support for the beginning while they're all building, rebuilding. All right, so that is basically step one ready. Now we go over, get the old hive. All righty, so this is the hive that I'm splitting today. So what we need to do here is block the entrance so we can sort of try and capture all of the, the girls in there or most try and capture what we can in there so by taping up the entrance a bit of the masking tape covering the hole we will trap those ones inside and oh hang on this, this one's the one going so there's, there's some holes on the bottom as well they'll need to be blocked up otherwise they will go out the bottom holes so a bit of tape over those as well so you can see uh, some of the bees are trying to get back in that's all right you'll see what happens to them later on but for now that one's ready to take over to the other hive let's get over there all right so I've got the old hive over here ready I've got the mask on now because even though these girls are stingless they do have a defense mechanism, they've got mandibles and they will pinch. So what they want to do is try and go into your eyes, corners and up your nose and in your ears. So very hard to work when they're doing that. So you've got this on, makes it much easier, as you'll see. All right, so take off the, undo the old hive lock. Hive tool. Right, get that in there. Come in a bit closer here. Come and look into the side into this hive with the as we open it up. Nice looking nest. It's split by itself, so I didn't need to use the knife. Sometimes the brood will be up higher and it's stuck together, so you use the knife to cut it. But there we go. Look inside of these little beauties. 
We've got some pollen over here, some honey on this side, and the brood in the middle. So, take the top half like that, put it on top of the other half, take the new top, get it out of the way, clean up this surface a bit. and save that food supply and new one on top like so all right you can see they're crawling all over me this one's not quite an aggressive hive so that's good okay so now we get the picker tape and just seal up these entrance, uh, seal up these joins again to help them build their defenses and rejoin those. That's that one. Cover on that one for a second. Do the same for this bottom one. New hive. All right. So that's the job done. Reseal this. Lock it back up. That's the, the top half is the hive that stays here. The bottom half is the one we can move away. That one is almost ready. We're just going to put the thing on the side. So it's ready. This, this is the one that goes away, so it doesn't need too much work. Right, that one's basically ready to ship off to its new destination. It needs to go more than a kilometre away from the home base, otherwise I'll just fly back. Put that to the side for now. Out of the way. This one we just have to make a holder for it now. So this is the uh, device you use to slip onto a star picket. So just got to screw that on into that position. Are we done? All right. You can come up closer here. You can see they're all over my mask. You imagine if you didn't have this netting on, uh, they'd be all over your face right now, going up everything. So very annoying. But anyway, we've got the uh, holder on. So all we're going to do is take it back over to the original position. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Right, here's the uh, star picket. As you can see, they're all swarming around, wondering where the home is. All over the picket. So, we put this back on. Into position. Start, you see they're starting to form. Open up that little door. And they've got a new home, all split. That's how easy it is. Very easy to work with these guys, so that's why I like it. Thanks for watching, more to come. See you next time.